Hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. We're going to do week three. I'm a little behind. I meant to do it on Friday. I mean, my pages are done. I just haven't filmed yet. Um, This is obviously my November daily. I'm doing the poetry challenge from Release the Craft in. Hashtag RTC Poetry 21. And I have pre-filmed already up to day 14. So we're going to be looking at... Ooh, look at this book. It's not a book anymore. It's going to be a circle when I'm done. And it has a three-inch spine. So y'all know I jam-pack way too much stuff onto my pages. However, they're my pages. And I do that. Um, Yeah, so this is week three. Let's just jump into it. I have to find page... 15. Here it is. Okay. So this is page 15. <clears throat> Let me take my giant paper clip off. Here's my page. Love it. Okay. The word was spirits. I just used the forest as my spirit. So that kind of threw me off. I, I have no memory, so sorry. Um, so let me read you the poem. This is for spirits. Woodland spirits call to me, wildlife habitat of forestry, a, a dense, yeah, a dense forest canopy overhead, below pine chaff and dead leaves form a bed, churchyard-like silence broken with chirps, natural calm I don't wish to usurp. Each leaf, every flower and fiddlehead fern shows nature's grace each in its turn. Nature's cathedral is here to worship, free from the world's entrepreneurship. How lovely my heart and mind chorused. Beauty found every day here in the forest. And here is my tag. It says, Believe in Spirits. Okay, so that is day 15. This is day 16. The prompt is smile. And then I have a pocket with a tag in it. And this is my tag. And here we go. Prompt smile. Each time I hear the word, word smile, it makes me think of your toothy style. The way your face beams whenever you grin even now, it still does with the gray on your chin. Sometimes I see that evil smirk, and I think to myself, is he being a jerk? Knowing that each time you, you smile in that cute way, it keeps you in my good graces every day. That greeting so friendly that when we go out, makes complete strangers kiss you on the snout. The one thought, however, that causes me... The one thought, however, to cause misery is someday that smile lives only in my memory. So this is my dog bear, and this poem was about his smile. He does have a toothy grin. He does use it to his advantage. You know, if he knows he's being a brat and we call him out, he gives us that smile. Sometimes if you just tell him to smile, he'll do it. <laughs> he's, 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 he's quite the interesting <laughs> little little dog. He's mine and I love him very much. And here's the front of my card. Okay. This was just an interim page, but it was part of the kit that I made this with from Release the Craft in and I thought it was pretty, so I just left it like that. Okay, this prompt was on flight. Let me open the swing tab. Let me show you this little this is a hot air balloon that I cut out with my Cricut. And then here we have all things that fly, butterflies, birds, fairies, owls, bees. So that was just my flight um, muse, would you, should we say. Um, and then this page opens like this, and here is my poem. Okay, so for day 15, flight. A spread of wings, you touch the sky. Hot air balloons that just float by. Fairy flight upon the air. Children's balloons lost at the fair. Birds that can soar through the heavens. My hair in the wind at sixes and sevens. Butterfly drifting 
on a summer breeze, leaves that waft from fall trees. Winter geese winging south, the sound of laughter from your mouth. Finally, it is said that time also flies. I see this through my parent eyes. So that was my poem about flight. This is day 18. And the prompt was storm. And here are these. This is a very famous painting called The Storm. Here's my tag. Storm. And here's my poem. Atmospheric phenomenon outside of the norm. Heavy disruption of every life form. Wind, rain, and snowstorm. Severe weather assault. Slumbering and dormancy is my storm time default. Power outages and down trees will cause life disruption, causing normal life activity abruption. Though things that I comment may tend to misinform, the truth is inside I kind of like the storm. Okay, that was much better. <laughs> so that is my day 18 storm poem. <clears throat> Here is day 19. And the prompt was pick a food. So here's my poem. It's obviously about ice cream. <laughs> and it says, oh, here's the shaker. See, shake the little jimmies. That's what my, my poem's written on. My favorite food I love to eat, the delicious icy frozen treat. As takeout with toppings and nuts served on a cone or straight from the container eaten at my home, ice cream is my most favorite treat. When on a diet, it's my only cheat. Limit my intake? I know that I should. Oh, why, oh, why is ice cream so good? So that is my poem about picking a food. And then my little tag goes back there. That was day 19. This again is just a page that was in here and I thought it was pretty, so I just left it that way. This is page 20, or day 20. And here are my tags. Um, Mist is my prompt. Put this back in the pocket. Flip this open. This is, this is the inside pages. Up on my camera. Here's my tag. And here's my poem. Fog creeps down the mountainside. It settles into valleys like it settles in into the valley like a blanket. Ghostly vapor disperses like tentacles across the ground. A break in the clouds. A sunbeam dances over the wisp of swirling air. Time cloaked in all its morning autumnal autumnal glory the warm glow burns off the remaining grayness once again the sunlight tri triumphs over the mist so that is my poem about the mist and this is day 21 and this will probably be my last one that I do today. So 21 is Earth. <clears throat> and here is my page. It says the Earth laughs in flowers and Mother Earth. And here's my 21 and it's hands holding a little baby plant. So Mother Earth spreads her arms and welcomes winter into my hemisphere. The landscape becomes barren and ice kissed, bringing on thoughts of fluffy fleece and the crackling of a wood fire. The nippy mornings that lead into crisp, clear winter skies, insulated inside of my house while sunlight glistens on the ice-coated branches. All the while I am dreaming of Earth's next seasonal embrace of spring. 
So that is my column. And this is my tag. I think it's really pretty. What do you guys think? Okay, so that's day 21. And I'm sorry, I read some of those really badly. Again, just got up, drinking coffee, trying to get the motor running in my head. Um, I think this is the one I read really badly. I'm going to try and maybe insert another reading in here and cut out the other one. So if it, if it looks jumpy, that's why. But that is my week for Release the Craftin's Poetry Challenge. Look at this crazy book. It is humongous. Um, I'm actually having a really good time with this. I think I'm starting to now get in the flow. Hey, it only took me like, what, three weeks? Um, I don't know. Some of my poems I like. Some of them are, I think, are more invoking of... Um, here, my dog playing with this toy over there. Um, invoking of like, you know, more visual, which I like. And yeah, so that is my week three of Release the Craftin's Poetry Challenge. I hope you all are having a safe, happy week, month, day, slash year. And um, take care of yourselves. Be kind to each other. Get your vaccine if you can and be safe. Um, yeah, I love you guys. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.